Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you accept the payments on your WordPress website. If you want to run a donation campaign or if you are running an online e-learning website using the plugin such as LearnDash, Tutor LMS, then you can start accepting payments using this free plugin. Let me show you an example of the donation form that I have created using this plugin. This is a simple donation form. Here customer or the visitor will be able to select the amount that they want to donate and you will see the goal set up for this donation campaign and it will also show the progress of this donation campaign. The next form is the product pre-order form. You can create some pre-order forms and you can accept payment for the pre-order forms. Here you will see a small electronic shopping form. If you have limited products and you want to accept payment for these limited products, then you can use this simple payment plugin to accept the payments. You can also integrate many different tools into this plugin such as LearnDash, Lifter LMS, Tutor LMS, email marketing plugins and CRMs such as Zapier. You can also use many different payment gateways such as Stripe, PayPal, Molly, Razorpay, Paystack, Payrex. So if you already have accounts with these payment gateways, you can start accepting payments using those payment gateways. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. So we will start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of this plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. So let's see how we can install the free WordPress payments and donations plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to install the free WordPress payments and donations plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for Paymatic, P-A-Y-M-A-T-T-I-C, Paymatic. So this is the plugin, simple payment donations and subscriptions plugin by Paymatic. This is the free version of the plugin. I do have the pro version. So first we will install the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro plugin. So click on install now. Let me show you the website. This is the website, Paymatic, WordPress payment and donation master. And you will see all the features of this plugin. You can use it for small business, non-profit, e-learning, membership. You can accept donations using this plugin. So you do not need to really install a WooCommerce in order to accept payments on your WordPress website. Instead of that, you can use this lightweight plugin and start accepting payments on your WordPress website. If you have a small business or if you want to integrate with the LearnDash or the e-learning courses on your WordPress website. So here you will see features, subscription payment, one-time payment. You can create donation goals, advanced reporting. You will see all the reporting, all the analytics of the donations and the payments. Let me show you the pricing also. This is the pricing. It will cost you $4.99 per month. And this is annual pricing. So it will be around $60 per year for a single website. Right now there is 50% off going on. The regular pricing is around $120 per year. If you want, you can go for lifetime license that will cost you only $299 for a single website. You will see all these features are there. Donation progress goal, recurring donation, donor profile, guest donation. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link in the description box to buy this plugin. So let's go back to dashboard and activate the plugin. All right, so the plugin is activated and in the left hand panel, you will see the option Paymatic. Let's go to settings. So these are the general settings of this plugin. The Stripe payment gateway is the default payment gateway for this plugin. So these are the currency setting. If you want to change currency, you can change it from here. Currency sign position, separator, submission abandoned after three hours. So it will be marked as abandoned after three hours. So these are the basic settings. Let's go to coupons. If you want to create coupons, you can also create coupons. However, this is only for the pro version. Next is a recapture. You can also add a recapture on the payment form. You will need to get the site keys from the Google recapture and you, and you can enable the recapture on your payment forms. You will see site key and secret key. Turnstyle beta. This is for the Cloudflare turnstyle. 
if I go to tools, you will see the import and export of the forms. And these are the permission settings. Who can use this plugin? Editor, author, contributor, shop manager. Now let's go to payment gateways and let's see which payment gateways are available. So first default payment gateway is a Stripe. If you have Stripe account, then you can simply enable the Stripe, add the live, live secret key and click save settings and the Stripe payment gateway will be activated on your website. Next is PayPal. If you have PayPal, you can enable the PayPal payment gateway. You just need to add the API keys and it will be activated. PayPal payment gateway is available only in the pro version. So that means for the free plugin, only Stripe payment gateway is available. The next option is integration. You will see the integrations here. So these are the tools that you can integrate into the Paymatic, Mailchimp, Slack, Zapier. So these are the CRM and email marketing tools. If you want to enable, you can simply enable it and go to settings. You can add the MailChimp API key and it will be integrated into the Paymatic. So let's go back to integration. If you want to integrate Zapier, you can enable it. And the other options are only for the pro version. If you want to enable Paymatic for the Learn Dash or Lifter LMS or Tutor LMS, you need to upgrade to the pro version of this plugin. So these options are available only for the pro version. So let's go to all forms and we are going to create the form. Let's create a form. Here you will see advanced editor and simple form template. If you go to simple form template, you will see some templates. However, these templates are only for the pro version. Let's go back to all forms again, create a form. Let's select advanced editor and you will see some options are available for free version. Some options are available for the pro versions. Here you will see free form. So I'm going to select this one event registration form. So click on the plus sign and you will see the form here. So in this form, we have name, email address, ticket options, ticket quantity, and card info that will be powered by Stripe. We need to enable the Stripe for this one. So here, if I click on it, I can edit the text. If I click on this one, I can go to settings. And from here, I can change the pricing option. Let's say I want $30 and $40. If you want to add more, you can simply add more $20. And let's add $10. Let's move it up. So we have got four options. If you want drop down box, you can select this option, select. Otherwise you can select radio, click update. And now you will see four options, total quantity. Let's save it and let's go to preview. So this is how the form will look. Name, email, you can select from these options. Let's say 10 and let's make two quantities. And you will see the total amount here. If I select 20, and two quantity, you will see 40 is the total. If I select 40 and two, it will be 80 in total. Now, if I go to settings, here I can have option to select multiple items, update it. And if you want to add more fields, you can simply go here and switch the editor. Now let's say I want to add telephone number. So I'm going to drag and drop the phone number here and these are the fields that you can add to your payment form single line text address consent stay form file upload payment item payment summary i can add payment summary here all right let's save it and let's preview the form so this is how it will look now i have got name email and this is the phone number i can select the country from here so I can select country and I can add the phone number. Then I, if I want to add multiple tickets, I can select this. You will see it here, $10. Early bird, you will see 30. Ticket quantity, I can make it two. And you will see everything will be doubled. All right, so here you will see the product summary. So once the Stripe is activated, I can click on pay and it will go to, let's add the name here, John. Let me add some dummy information here and it will go to the Stripe payment gateway. All right, so we need to add the API keys and it will get started. So there are some limitations to the free version of this plugin. Let's go to settings. Now, if I go to settings, you will see the options. 
the form confirmation setting this is the form confirmation thank you for your registration so you can change this content this is the receipt customization you can add your own content here recapture and turnstile settings so these are the settings for this particular form if you want to see the entries you will see the entries here all right so you will see the payment that we try to make here using the dummy content if I click on view, it will show all the details of this particular entry. How many tickets and which tickets, everything will be shown here. If I go to reports, it will show the reports. However, this is for the pro version. Let's go back. I do have the access to pro version of this plugin. So I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro version. So I have the Paymatic Pro installed here. Let's go to the settings here. So here you will see all the pro options are available. If I go to coupons, I can create a new coupon and I can add that coupon to different payment forms on the website. So you just need to enter the coupon title, coupon code, the percentage or fixed amount, minimum purchase amount, start and end date. So these are the basic settings for the coupon. So you can create multiple coupons using the Paymatic Pro plugin. If I go to payment gateways here, you will see the other payment gateways are also available. I can integrate the PayPal payment gateway. Then I have Molly, a razor pay. In case of razor pay, you just need to enter the public key and secret key. So you will get all these options for the payment gateways. Integrations, all these integrations are also available. If you are using learn dash LMS, you need to install that plugin right now on this dummy website. I do not have the plugin installed. So if you already have the plugin installed, you just need to activate this add-on and it will get integrated into the Paymatic Pro. So let's go to all forms. I have some dummy forms created here. If I go to preview, you will see different forms are created. Here I'll show you one donation form. This is how to look. So customer will be able to enter the amount, select the amount and enter the name, select the payment gateway and submit and it will get added to your donation. It will also show the progress of the donation and the goal of this particular donation campaign. You can also create shopping cart. Let me show you. This is one of the shopping cart. So here, if I select this option, it will get added here. So the customer need to enter the details and make a purchase using Paymatic Pro. You can also add multiple payment gateway options in a single form. So if you want to run the donation campaign or if you want to create a simple payment system on your WordPress website, then this is one of the best WordPress payment plugin for your WordPress website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.